this is Freya with another edition of How to Sing That Song. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I have another song that's for the guys, but it also can be sung by the girls. Let Me Entertain You, originally by Robbie Williams. Now this is a great song because it's packed full of energy, it's full of words that burst out there, so it's a challenge for your pronunciation and your intonation. So let's get started. Now the intro is already packed full of energy. Get pumped up. And it's all in chest voice. Full of energy. Deep breath. Hell is gone and heaven's here. There's nothing left for you to fear. Shake your ass, come over here. Now scream. So what you're supposed to do is like really full out as if you were like, hell is gone and heaven's here. There's nothing left for you to fear. Shake your ass, come over here. Now scream. And uh, what Robbie does is like on those shout outs at the end of the phrases, like scream, my dear, and so on, which um, this comes a lot of times with different words. He just kind of just... Uh, gives it a different twist and a different flavor all the time. So because it's not supposed to be sung, it's actually supposed to be kind of shouted or have a certain flavor and meaning. You'll see what I mean. So just do something with it that's fun, that reflects that. Come on, I'll scream. Scream, everybody. Let's go on. I'm a burning effigy of everything I used to be. You're my rock of empathy, my dear. My dear, just however you want to flavor that. And it should have some voice color that's, um, that's kind of unique. Also, make sure you think about where to breathe. Don't interrupt the phrases like this here. Hell is gone and heaven's here. There's nothing left for you to fear. Breathe. Shake your ass, come over here. Now scream. You could breathe again before the now scream or you could not. But just don't interrupt the phrase by I'm a burning effigy of everything I used to be. You're my rock of empathy, my dear. So just don't interrupt it. It's kind of cool here just to really keep it going. I'm a burning effigy of everything I used to be. You're my rock of empathy, my dear. And out comes, so come on. And full voice now, full voice. If you want to practice full voice, pretty much chest voice, depending on what key you're singing it in. I always sing these songs in my key, so you may have to just kind of experiment a little bit and see what the best key is for you. Because a lot of Robbie Williams songs, they go down and up, they go low and high. You have to just kind of see what fits you. Now this one is pretty high up most of the time, but you'll see what I mean. There's this bridge that's different, but let's go on. Let me entertain you. Full voice. You could practice that in a shouting manner. Let me entertain you. Like you mean it, like you mean it. Come on, everybody, let me entertain you. It's like you stand up there on stage and you want to make everybody go crazy and be like, come on, join the party, let me entertain you. Let me entertain you. So not too much vibrato here. Don't go, let me entertain you. Just, um, just a little bit. If you don't have any vibrato in this song, I don't think it's terrible. I think you could pull this one off without vibrato pretty well, actually. So the second verse, I'm not going to go through all the verses, actually, because it's going to be really long. Um, what's really important is just this, you tell the story. Don't think about singing too much. Don't go, look me up in the yellow pages. I will be the rock of ages. Don't sing too much. Just Tell the story and uh, phrase it as such. Look me up on the yellow pages. I will be a rock of ages and so on and so on. Just l shout it out there and get the meaning through. One thing that's always important is that you have good posture and good breathing, especially in a song like that that's pretty much high energy from the beginning to the end. There's not really a point where it goes low down. It's always high energy. 
So after that second verse, little bull baby's lost the sheep. He popped the pill and fell asleep. The dew is wet, but the grass is sweet, my dear. Now comes this lower part. Your mind gets burned with the habits you've learned, but we're the generation that's gotta be heard. So it's lower, but it's still full of full of intensity. So don't go. Your mind gets burned with the habits you've learned. Choose a key where this part is not too low, but where the chorus, the let me entertain you, isn't too high, which the chorus is pretty much on the same level as the first and second verse and those verses that come in between. Just the bridge is low. So don't choose a key that's too low, that you could still do that. Also, don't sing too much. Don't sing it too straight. Your mind gets burned with the habits you've learned, but we're the generation that's got to be heard. Don't go too straight. Have more of an attitude. Be very chesty and very, your mind gets burned with the habits you've learned. So what happens then is that you bend those pitches every once in a while. Your mind gets burned with the habits you've learned. But you're, we're the generation that's gotta be heard. You're tired of your teachers and your school's a drag. So have an attitude and don't be so clean. And now it comes. You're not going to end up like your mom and dad. So come on, let me entertain you. So here the issue is the E. How do you place the E in a way that you could still sing it high and not be all narrow? There's a really easy exercise. I showed this before in one of my singing tips exercises. The E doesn't mean that you're narrow all the way in the back of your throat. What's important is that you form those vowels where it's actually necessary and that you don't get narrow or wide everywhere um, whenever you do the vowels. Like an E is actually a narrow vowel, but it's not narrow in the throat. Try this. Relax your cheeks here and now go A, E, E. E. Don't move your cheeks at all. If you relax them and you can do the E, you will notice that the E, the throat stays the same, but the tongue between your back teeth just kind of goes up a little bit. So it should only go up there. It shouldn't be like E all the way closed and it, your throat shouldn't be closed. Let me entertain you. You could still sing an E and be open. Let me entertain you. E, not E. E. Relax this and leave your throat at the same place where it is when you do an R or E or O. Pretty much this stays the same. It stays open back there. So here comes the chorus and then comes another bridge. He may be good, he may be out of sight. Again, not too straight, very much attitude in there. Now, whenever you do the chorus and you have this, so come on, that should signal to everyone, okay, here, now it's coming, it's coming. So don't go like, so come on, let me. So it needs to be, so come on, let me. So what you could do on the U, U is another very closed vowel, you could just alter it a little bit and go, let me entertain yo, kind of like yo a little bit. Depending on your taste and depending on how easy it is for you to sing the U. If it's pretty high, you need to open it just a little bit. If, you ever, if I were going to go higher, let me entertain yo, I'd have to open it up even more. And if you go higher even more. Let me entertain you. Let me entertain you. So the higher it goes, the more open you need to be. So depending on how high, how high it is in your voice, just alter that vowel just a little bit. So the essence of this song is to really bam, 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 energy, breathing, posture, tension in your body, and then 
Get those phrases out there like you mean them. Just speak them with authority. Don't sing it too much. That's the main point here. So I hope I could help you sing that song. It's so much fun. I love to use this as an opener. It's definitely a crowd pleaser and it's so much fun. You can do it as a solo really well. Just solo singing and piano or guitar and or guitar actually. Um, it works really fine as an acoustic version. And as always, try to do it in your own awesomeness. Your voice has its own strengths and its own beauty. So try to twist it to where it fits you. If you don't have this, the strongest voice in the world, you could emphasize... Um, like getting out those words. Little Bo Beep has lost a sheep. He popped the bill and fell asleep. To get the attitude out there. If you do have a really loud and mighty voice, like a really big voice, um, try not to overdo it. So try to still be very clean about it to where you could still be understood and not go into overdrive mode. So be careful of that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and don't forget to like the video if you liked it. I really appreciate it if you show me your love with that. Also check me out on all the other social media like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. I have some awesome boards that I've created there um, to collect bunch of singing related topics it's very cool also if you want to catch me live on video tune in to periscope from monday through friday i don't have a set time because i don't have time at the same time every day but check that you may also watch the replay you can find me there at musical Friar. and um, other than that you know as always this is my motto always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing because studies have shown that singing makes you happier. Have a wonderful day. Bye.